Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, again, um, my save file has gotten deleted by the bug, but uh, since the last episode the 1.01 .01 patch has come out, which has fixed the save file disappearing problem, so um, hopefully this won't happen again, and we'll be able to actually make prog progress on this file. For the moment though, we have only Isaac available, and we are hoping to make it three mom kills out of three first episodes. So this is mom's wig, this is the spider generating item that we had before. Um, I've, as you probably saw on the save screen there, made some more progress on my other save, which fortunately was not getting deleted by the bug. It was only slot two that was apparently affected. Uh, maybe slot three as well, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I actually tried in slot three. So I've uh, seen quite a few more items now, and um, more enemies, and just more of everything, really. I kind of hate this room. This, of course, is one that was in the original Binding of Isaac as well. Ugh. I hate it even more when I take damage on this room because it's quite easy and I shouldn't be taking damage. It's just because it's sort of a slow room to clear no matter what happens. Alright, we got a key, that is nice. Don't need it on this floor, at least not for the item room, but it'll be useful next floor. If not before then. I see this tinted rock down here. Probably would have been optimal to wait until after we fought the boss to pick those up. So that we could uh, give, us our give ourselves the best chance of not taking damage on the next floor. Or not taking red heart damage rather. Not a huge deal though, probably. Fairly familiar with um, most of the first floor bosses, including the new ones now, so shouldn't take too much damage here or on the next boss anyway. Hopefully I don't regret those words. Monstro shouldn't be much of a problem though. We have no damage upgrades, so he will take a while. Our spiders will help a bit. Oh, that was bad damage. Okay. Thought I had room there, but I did not. Problems with monster there. And mom's belt, or the belt. Which is a speed up, that's fine, I suppose. No bombs, so we can't go looking for the secret room. And no point in going to the shop because we have no money. Okay, so we can't go into that challenge room. At least yet. Probably not at all, unless we find the blood bank. Or a demon beggar. Robo baby. Hmm, okay. Not terrible, but not amazing. Ugh, I don't like this. God damn it. Uh, okay, well we still didn't take any uh, red heart damage, so that's a plus. I'll shoot all these poops. We probably not gonna be going to the shop, it looks like, on this floor either, unless we find a whole bunch of money somehow.
this room not really too problematic, I think. Well, that's one more penny. Just checking for tinted rocks. Kind of tinted rocks is not really a correct term anymore since um, the difference is no longer in the color of the rock in some cases. They vary depending on the level. And uh, they're fairly easy to, easy to spot still on the first couple of floors, but they get more difficult later, which I suppose is appropriate. Oh, get out of there. That's terrible. Still have half a spirit heart to protect us against the boss, assuming we don't lose any more on this room, which I would be very annoyed if we did. Okay. Still no bombs, so we can't look for any secret rooms. Which is a bit unfortunate, and with four cents I'm probably not going to use one of these keys to look into the shop. Alright, Larry Jr. The one big Larry Jr. Help me, spiders. Help me, Robo-Baby. Yeah. Get our Robo-Baby robo shots to hit multiple segments, that's pretty good. Nice. So we unlock Monster's Tooth. We got a Spirit Heart, we got a HP upgrade, and we got to deal with the Devil, so let's see what we got in here. Hmm. So, I'm definitely going to take the Pact. Question is whether I take one of these other items as well. Book of Belial is pretty good. That's um, a three room charge item and it gives us damage bonus for the room when we use it, or Guppy's Collar, which gives us one extra life and gives us the chance of maybe becoming Guppy. Um, hmm. I think I will take Book of Belial. If we end up getting a better spacebar item at some point, then I'll be sad that I spent a heart on that, but we will also be getting a better spacebar item than Book of Belial, so I guess I'll be pretty happy too. And the damage up from the pact is extremely welcome. Damage and tears up, I guess it is. Okay, we could get another key if we really need it. We could trade a bomb for a key in here, which... Is not what we want to be doing because we have no bombs. Eat those bats. And go look for the item room before we head into the boss, I think. With so many spirit hearts, uh, partially from the pact, of course, uh, we should be in a pretty good position to not take damage, or red heart damage at least on this floor. Ideally, we wouldn't take any damage, of course, but can't really rely on that. Though, assuming things work the same way they do in the original Isaac, we will have a greatly reduced chance of getting deals with the devil. Um, if I knew I was going to get another charge on Book of Belial before the boss, I'd be much more inclined to do this room and uh, use Book of Belial to help me out, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. I might just skip it. It's only one... Um, one grey chest, so probably not a big deal. And we got a bomb. Actually, that's the second bomb. So... Another key is good. Attack fly, okay. Not bad. Reasonable item, I think. Checking for tinted rocks. Oh, and wrath. All right. I'd like to use Book of Belial here too, but definitely won't get another charge for the boss, so it's fine. Okay, we didn't need it. And no tinted rocks here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go into the shop. There's a fairly large number of places that the secret room could possibly be. Uh, I don't think it could be there. I mean, above us, or to the left of us, because 
I'm not sure if it shows up if there's one place where you aren't able to bomb into it. I'm gonna try here though. There we go. And the shovel. No, I'm not gonna use the shovel. Could get this run over with very quickly. Yeah, that was a red heart, okay. Um, I'll probably come back and go in this curse room after I've fought the boss, but I'm not going to do that now. And I'm not going to try to bomb for a key either. Let's chub. Shouldn't be too much of a problem with uh, the amount of damage we're doing with the help of the Belial. And if we can get in some good damage with the attack fly as well, all the better. Which it seems we can. Thanks, attack fly. I'm sorry I said you were only okay. You're pretty good. You're okay by me. And we did get a deal with the devil, which is very nice. So this is contract from below, which I believe gives us, um, doubles our sort of consumable drops for the rest of the game. And brother Bobby, I think, and spirit of the night, which we cannot take. We would have been able to take it and kill ourselves in the original, but I'm pretty sure we can't do it now. Though I'm not going to check, just in case I can actually kill myself. Okay. Spiders. Spiders. Oh well. So that definitely wasn't worth it, but... We didn't know that going in. It was still the right choice. Onto the depths too, and we have an arcade here. So I guess I'll have a look in. Just a standard arcade. And we may come back later. Depending on how things go. These poops are not a problem. They do make adorable little squeaks when you kill them. Which doesn't really make me feel bad or anything. Hmm. Uh, so we have a charge on Book of Belial, and we should get another one before the boss, so I think I will go ahead and do this. Okay, that's nice. Basically, costs us nothing because we're already at one health. Now I'm wishing I took Guppy's collar. Two more chests to open anyway, so who knows what's in them. Oops, almost took damage there. And peep, okay. I'm very likely to end up taking damage from one of his eyes, because I always do. Ah, oh, or his tears. That feels much worse, those are much easier to dodge, or at least I find them easier to dodge. Actually didn't take damage from his eyes. It wasn't so bad. Spiders. And... Pills, okay. I'll we'll obviously take nine lives, because there's no reason not to. And I'll just take these pills. Uh, okay, that's bad. Ugh, little spiders. Hate you. Okay. Oh, more wolf spiders. At least we can stay at a range of these ones and use Robo Baby. That's gonna take too long. I think these guys have pretty weird hitboxes. A, a lot of times I feel like I should hit them when I don't, and shots that seem like they shouldn't hit them that do hit them. So, I don't know what their deal is, but I hate them. Not just because of the weird hitboxes, also because they're bastards. I'm gonna shoot all this poop. And there's our item room. Oh, get away from these spiders. 
Take these spiders too. And what do we have in here? Oh, Peeper's eye, okay. Plop indeed. It's not terrible. Did a little damage to Larry Jr. there. And a bomb and a key for this? I guess I'll do that. Alright, got my key back at least. And a giant room with poops. Okay. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, at least. Oh no. That's bad damage. Okay. Did anything drop? Pill. Lemon party. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Got out of that with no damage. So that's not bad. Uh, the shop is there. Might go in there. We have a pretty decent amount of keys. So even though we're not likely to be able to buy something, or at least not likely to be able to buy a 15 cent item, we can still go have a look. I just want to check out this other room first. A pill. Okay. What a waste of time. Uh, I guess I'll go check out the shop now. So I think this item gives us um, double bombs uh, whenever a bomb drops for the rest of the game. So not really worth it. Um, I think we had this pill before. I don't remember what it was, but I don't think we've had any good pills, so it's probably bad. So I guess we'll just go fight the boss. Uh, oh, there's a, a library, I guess, up there. Maybe we'll go check that out first. Yeah, now um, libraries and shops just have the same uh, key symbol, I guess it is, on or keyhole symbol on the on the map, so you can't tell which is which before you go in, which is fine. Cards, eh? The World and the High Priestess. And Book of Shadows. Which is good, but I think I'll keep the Book of Belial. Um, I guess I'll use the High Priestess on the boss. And... I suppose the correct line would be to come back for the World card, but... There's a lot of backtracking, so I'll see whether I feel like actually doing that. Took half of Grady's health off. Not bad. Ah, oh, bad damage. But still a pretty good fight. Little chubby appeared. Uh, growth hormones is very nice. Speed and damage up. And a deal with the devil. Uh, little brimstone is really good. But do I want to take him? Um, I'll take him. Alright, and we unlock unlocked Azazel. Um, I will go back for the, for the world card. Since I got a speed upgrade, I suppose it's not so bad. Actually, I'm kind of too fast now. I'd rather be a little less fast. Do we want to do anything in the arcade? I guess I could play these a couple of times. Okay, I had enough. 
I'm not going to go into the curse room because I am in kind of a precarious position health-wise. Though in a very good position damage-wise and familiar-wise. Little Brimstone seems extremely powerful. His, his shot does a lot of damage. It's kind of tricky to aim because he's sort of following along behind you. But you can still aim him pretty effectively and get very good damage out of him. Almost took damage for no reason there. Okay. Definitely want to go to a shop now that we have 15 cents. Get out of here, flies. <laughs> Would appreciate some sort of source of spirit hearts. That would be very nice to have. Um. Oh, I should use the world card too. That's why I brought it. Uh, let's check out this secret room. Okay, more money is fine, so not exactly great. Um, there's a pretty good chance of there being spirit hearts in here, and I can use Book of Belial, so I'll give it a go. That's no good. And that's pretty bad too. Okay. Let's not take any more damage here, please. Thank you, little brimstone. Okay. Could have been worse. It's two troll bombs. And two more. Well, that was kind of a waste of half a spirit heart, I suppose, but what are you going to do? I think it was worth the risk. And I do it again. Um, no tinted rocks here, it looks like. If I know what they look like, which I'm not 100% sure that I do. Oh, that's terrible damage. I hate these guys, though. I can't really afford to go into the curse room. Just gonna shoot these fires. Almost ran into that one, which would have been really bad. I would not have been pleased with myself. Um, no rocks here. Purple fires, which I don't like. Um, I'll w I will maybe try and blow them up though, because I'm not sure if the purple ones, but the um, the blue ones do drop spirit hearts sometimes. My god. I do not appreciate this room. Though we got out of it okay, and little brimstone was very helpful. Oh no, don't take damage like that. Should have taken damage there, that was terrible. Shouldn't have got myself trapped like that. I'm pretty lucky to be out of there. We don't know what this pill is. It was telepills. And it took us to the previous room. Oh, that's very nice, okay. So that helps a bit with the health. Brimstone for making these guys somewhat less of a pain in the ass. And we'll go into the shop, which is probably greed. Oh, it's not greed, okay. Well, um, let's see. It's 
suppose I'll buy this just to get one card out of it. The moon. Not useful. And we'll buy this spirit heart. Which probably significantly increases our damage or our chances against the boss. Um, so we have a mini boss room up there we could go to. Which I might do? Uh, probably better not to risk it. We'll just fight the boss. Thanks, Keeper's Eye, for actually doing some damage. Okay, and Loki was no problem. Now we have a deal with the devil again. Evil range and shot, shot speed up, okay. Uh, again, our deal with the devil, though, is kind of trapped behind the door down, which is unfortunate. Um, we only have one guppy item, don't we? We have nine lives. Didn't get any others. So can't really justify taking guppy's tail, I think. I am going to take Dark Bum though, because he is great. And I was just asking for some kind of repeatable source of spirit hearts. Or evil hearts, that works too. And we unlock Lazarus. Evil hearts, black hearts, sin hearts. I do not know what they are actually called, but... I will call them probably all of those things from time to time. So I'm going back through the level to... First of all, feed all these hearts to Dark Bum, and second of all, to probably go ahead and fight whatever mini-boss this is in here. Since I am not too worried about him. And I may as well go in here. Wow, okay, I am lucky I went in here. The mark for free. Gives us back the spirit art it costs to get into in and out of the curse room and also is a very nice damage upgrade. So it looks like we're pretty well set for this run. Of course we can only go to mom since it's the first run, but it looks like we're gonna be three for three in uh, mom kills. And next episode, since save files are working now, we should be able to go to mom's heart, which is nice. Uh, not enough money to really go there. Brimstone wall spiders. Don't like them. Don't like these guys either. It's their jump move that always gets me. Lemon mishap. Eh, sure, I'll take it. Not lemon mishap, excuse me, tier M thingy number one. Which actually is supposed to decrease our range, but we seem to have almost max range still. Um, okay. I guess we got a, at least one range up. I'm not sure if we got others. Uh, I think safety pin is a range up. Uh, anything else here? All stats up, I suppose. Oh, and mom's, mom's shoes. Mom's high heels. I forget what that item is actually called. Okay, so we're pretty well set now. Mom's pearl. Gives us a better chance of finding spirit hearts. Also very nice. Take those guys. Fortunately there was only one. I hate these guys. Though we're doing enough damage that they're not really a problem. At least their shots are so quick they throw the bones. And they're really quick and I find them almost impossible to dodge reliably. I'm not going to go in the shop because we don't have money. Probably just going to hurry up and find the boss and finish this run. Um, I think I'll actually use the moon to go to the secret room, wherever that is. So range down, which we don't want, I found pills, and range down. Uh, I'm just going to drop that. Oop, don't want to drop mom's pearl.
Okay, uh, we could go in here. Probably no real reason to, though. Yep, there's that jump move and it's radial bullets that always gets me. Uh, probably no need to go in there and get that peek. That was bad damage. Oh, that was even worse. Let's just go fight Mom. Immediately use Book of Belial. I think I've become a bit better at fighting this first. Isaac was cornered. And there we go. We unlock the womb. We unlock challenge 20. We unlock the harbingers. We unlock a cube of meat and a ball of bandages. And hopefully they'll actually stay unlocked this time. So thanks for watching and join me again next time for another Isaac run.